welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So things are a bit of a standstill here, things not really moving and you are longing for something really better, uh, you know, something um, that is going to give you a lot more fulfillment, it seems. You are obsessed with this particular uh, you know, idea about getting something better. There's something that you are focusing too much on with this obsession card. So you need to maybe step back a little bit and see things from a different perspective. Uh, you know, obsessions are not always very, very positive. So you need to see things, uh, you know, take a little bit of a step back, ask people for advice so that you can get a different handle on that situation. It seems like there's a lot of unresolved conflicts that you've been dealing with and You've been spending a lot of time by yourself, doing a lot of thinking, a lot of introspection going over there. You might be feeling a little bit emotionally overwhelmed as well. Now, going into the future, you've got arguments and hurtful words and a need to take back control. So don't let things escalate. It's very important for you to look at things from a very, very different perspective and see if you are obsessing about one particular thing or focusing on one particular issue, it might be time for you to let go so that you know these hurtful words or these arguments can be avoided. Because once things are said, you can't take them back and that's always not a good place to be. You know, if you wanted to reconcile, uh, you, that a uh, hurtful thing that was said in during that argument always is there hanging in the air so try and avoid conflicts uh, try and you know step back from a conflicted situation count to 10 and walk away you know before you say anything uh, rash there is a need for you to take control of the situation but you can do it in a very calm manner you don't have to uh, you know uh, let it escalate to an argument or a fight before you get control back uh, you need to, th like like I said, you have been doing a lot of thinking and maybe it's a way on how to get control back. It seems like both of you seem to be moving in different directions. You've got these uh, grasshoppers moving in different directions, um, you know, and you need to really refocus back on that relationship if you want to make it work um, and take the control back in that relationship. Um, you know, go back to finding out why you got together in the first place and find out whether or not you want to work on that. Uh, you know, before you get into an argument. So it's not nice to get into arguments or fights. Uh, it's best to sit and resolve the situation, uh, you know, in a calm manner um, and then decide whether or not you want to stay in that relationship or move away from it. So these are the energies for those two weeks. Right, so I'm going to be drawing some cards from the uh, After Tarot for the main read. Okay. Right, so the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the Four of Swords, and it looks like there's a lot of Swords cards. Now, this would be um, in keeping with the fact that this is a liberal reading, and the Swords represents the air signs. But this also is talking about a lot of stress, anxiety, conflict, and maybe a lot of legal issues that have been that you are facing at this particular moment. So you've got this Four of Swords over here. So you have gone through a lot of stress. You've got that Three of Swords over there on the wall. Uh, it seems to have been a relationship uh, in the past, there's heartbreak in the past, and you are not trying to recover. You might have retreated from things and you're trying to get a new perspective. Um, you know, maybe there's an apology that has been coming in or some, maybe you and your partner have been uh, or, uh, trying to uh, reconcile or maybe there's an offer of reconciliation that has come in, but it looks like you might be ignoring it. You're trying to come up with a new strategy on how to deal with the situation and you're trying to recover from whatever you went through. So whatever this heartbreak is that you went through, uh, you know, because it's swords, it could have been a divorce. Um, you're trying, you know, you've retreated, uh, you're coming up with a new plan. It's really had, it's taken its toll on you and it's made you very, very stressed out and very anxious. It looks like you may be going and even asking for some advice on how to actually deal with it. Because you can see there's this man on his knees in front of the priest over there uh, in the background on that um, 
stained glass window. So you could be going and asking for some advice from somebody around you, uh, somebody that you trust, um, on how to deal with this particular situation. And if somebody's asking for reconciliation, it might be that you are actually ignoring this particular person. Uh, you, it doesn't seem like you may be interested in reconciling with this particular person. Now, what's going on with you? So there was a big dramatic ending. There was, uh, you know, the Ten of Swords is one of the worst cards, I think, in the in the deck because it talks about such harsh endings, uh, you know, where you have been betrayed or uh, whatever happened was so nasty that it left you completely in, unable to cope or unable to deal with that situation where you needed somebody or people to come and help you out of this particular scenario. So this could have been a really nasty divorce or could have been a really nasty dis, uh, you know, um, separation that happened uh, that left you completely flawed, completely uh, you know, disempowered. And you can see there, you know, whatever was delivered was so harsh. There was no... Um, this, look, you know, the Knight of Swords is about legal decisions being made, and whatever the truth was that came out was like a stab in the heart, really. It almost, it slaughtered you. Whatever this person uh, gave, uh, whatever um, decision was made over here was so unexpected, was so harsh, um, you know, it, it caused you to be completely um, destroyed in that particular situation. So it's, you've coming out of a very, very uh, difficult either legal battle or even a, a conflict with the part with your partner that has completely destroyed you or you feel completely destroyed in the situation so much so that you can't resurrect it and this is maybe the reason why that even if this person comes in with an apology you're not going to be accepting that particular apology right now. It looks like it may have been an end of a marriage or an end of a committed relationship over here. There was a judgment that was being passed, has been passed. Now, you could have been dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio uh, energy here in the past, and maybe the divorce is from this particular person. But this is also a card that is ruled by Archangel Michael, who rules the justice. Uh, so there was a legal decision that was made over here. And this is, uh, you know, it was done. It's, it's done and dusted. Uh, there was no emotional component to it. Um, it seems like, uh, you know, uh, it was uh, their word. That was it was their way or the highway and it seems like the decision was made and you had to leave you are now getting over it so it looks like whatever that decision is you are coming out of that particular um, scenario you are healing even with this uh, four of uh, swords it's about healing you got this three of swords over here you could see the swords have fallen away and the heart has got that bandage around it so you are have been spending time in the last few months uh, maybe licking your wounds uh, healing doing a lot of crying doing a lot of um, you know soul searching really breaking off communication with this particular person uh, this was that legal issue was sorted out you didn't expect it coming or you didn't see it even coming but it you know it was done it's in black and white it's done uh, you know so it seems like you know you are now at a point where you are uh, gathering all your strength and getting back uh, you know just trying to heal or recover from this particular scenario it was a very sudden decision that was made and uh, you know it caused a lot of um, pain and upset for you there with that knight of swords very very harsh energy there and also the words that were spoken were very very harsh and very hurtful now you've got the queen of swords so you're taking back your control you're determined to succeed you are now going to be speaking your truth you are doing it alone this queen of swords is the divorcee so you have gone through that breakup or that split uh, but you are coming out stronger for it uh, so even though you are doing it alone or you're going it alone uh, you're doing it with a lot more confidence and you're not letting anybody take advantage of you and you're undergoing a transformation as well so you know where you were naive at one particular po point in your life it looks like you're matured and you have learned a lot of lessons you are focusing a lot on your um, your coin your work um, it looks like maybe they might you know there might be some kind of offer that may come in as well with that knight of pentacles as well uh, so maybe somebody at, that you're working with might make some kind of gesture to you, some kind of offer, uh, and maybe this person uh, is interested in you. So this could be a new relationship coming in. Slowly, because the Knight of Pentacles is a pretty slow-moving knight, so this relationship may not be coming in as fast as you'd like, but it looks like there might be an offer that comes in with somebody that you work with. So you might be working with this particular person, and then they're taking a fancy to you, 
and they make some kind of offer to you. You yourself are focusing a lot on your work, and that seems to be uh, you know, what you're doing to try and recover from all this loss. So in this half, it seems like you know, you've know you gone through this divorce or the separation. There was legal issues that you had to sort through. Uh, maybe you didn't win in that particular case, <coughs> or things didn't go quite, excuse me, things didn't go quite how you wanted it to and now you it seems like you're leaving everything all of that behind now and moving forward and focusing on yourself and focusing on your work and here again being focused on that work in order for you to accumulate money so you are being very work centered you're working with a lot of people you might be in some kind of position of leadership building up something very important you're establishing your financial um, status again so here you are trying to accumulate money you started from scratch again it seems because you've got this little child carrying this um, uh, load of money there so you are working very very hard uh, to bring in that money and you can see even with that knight of pentacles working very hard to re-establish your financial status status again. Now you've got the Queen of Wands over here. So this might be uh, somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius uh, person. So you may have had that uh, energy that you're dealing with. Uh, you know, um, maybe this is the person that you separated for. Maybe they're coming in with that apology as well. Uh, with that uh, four of uh, swords, you can see somebody coming, bringing in that flower, and she's holding that sunflower in her hand. So maybe you know somebody uh, that you were involved in was a fire sign person, and they're trying to make uh, you know an effort to reconcile with you there. Uh, but this is also about you taking control of that situation, and maybe uh, you know ignoring any kind of gestures that are coming in over here. So there could be that energy that you're dealing with, um, and, but this is also you trying to take control back of that situation. Now you've got the uh, Ten of Cups, so you feel as though that particular relationship is done and dusted. You may have had a family with this particular person, and maybe you know you are leaving behind. You're hoping that whatever dramas and whatever crisis you went through is now at its end over there with that Ten of Cups, and you want long-term happiness as well. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Six of Swords, the Magician, and you've got the King of Cups over there. So the Six of Swords, it's whatever legal battles you went you went through, you left. It's finished and done with. You've left that Five of Swords, all the conflict and problems behind, and you're moving away. Now, you could be physically moving away where you're traveling and going and living somewhere else. We, you know, you've taken your things and you moved out. Uh, you know, if you've had children, you've taken your children and you've moved out and you're going and setting up shop somewhere else or you're establishing yourself somewhere else. You may have had some help as well. There could have been some, uh, you know, legal help as well. Uh, if this was a divorce situation, there could be some, uh, you know, you could have received um, legal advice as well. But this could also be people around you giving you a helping hand and helping you relocate. Uh, this is, you know, this particular person seems rather depressed the shoulders are bent uh, so you know it, it, it's still they're still recovering emotionally from it uh, but it looks like you're going and you're going to go and start some start yourself off somewhere else you are starting afresh somewhere else and you're going to be working pretty hard at, at doing that so uh, re-establishing your money uh, you know your uh, your um, emotional status as well, your ability to communicate. You're working pretty hard at that. You're putting all your attention and focusing, focus on making that brand new start. The magician is a number one. So you've gone and um, you, you've left that scenario completely. You've left all the drama behind and you're going to be working on yourself because the magician works by himself and you're focusing on yourself as well. And you've got the King of Cups over here. So this is about, um, you know, having somebody around you. Uh, that might be a water sign person. So it could be um, a Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces energy around you, or even a father figure around you uh, giving you advice on what to do. And it seems like they're telling you to let go of those emotional problems because they're emptying that cup out uh, and telling you to get rid of all that negative emotions and move on to something brand new. So this is somebody that is helping you deal uh, with all those problems, emotional turmoils that you're going through. And, uh, you know, you might be getting some advice from this particular person or some kind of counseling or support. So this could be about you seeking professional counseling in order for you to deal with the situation and get rid of all that negative emotion. Or this could be a father figure that you're turning for, for that help and support in order for you to move forward. Uh, but it is some advice coming in, uh, you know, from somebody. It could be even, you know... Um, 
medical advice coming in for you and how to deal with this particular scenario. You are working very, very hard on yourself over there uh, with that magician card, and you are getting over the situation right now. And it seems that fo focus is turning on to the work, and that is going to be the thing that liberates you from all these problems. Because this is distinctly all the conflict, and now it looks like you're moving uh, in the second half uh, towards um, you know, something that is going to be very, very good for you. So I'm just going to draw some cards from this Archangel Power Tower, and it's that card that fell out of the um, Ten of a Ariel. And this is the Ten of Pentacles, so that is the end of that marriage or that cycle uh, or financial dependence on somebody else. And it looks like uh, whatever you work for now, you're going to be working to establish your own security. So financial success and promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So you've ended an old scenario, and you're going to begin it something brand new. Whatever you work on now is going to bring, bring in rewards for the long term, for the long haul. And you have very much to be grateful for with this Ten of Ariel. So that old cycle or that old marriage is now at an end and you're moving on. So there's a financial separation as well that is going on in that um, marriage as well. So there could be some kind of payout that comes in from whatever this uh, separation was. You've got the Four of Ariel over here. So when you give, you receive being resistant to change extremes in how you save and spend money. So do watch your finances. But with the Four of Ariel is establishing your uh, security. It's the Four of Pentacles establishing your security again. So you've got the four coins usually in the four corners, and this is about financial security, maybe buying yourself a new home. And just accept change. Let go of that past as well. This is very important. Don't cling on to things from the past. And if you do that, you can take that leap of faith, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy. So making a brand new start. So it looks like you are going off on your own. You are reestablishing yourself. You've entering you know landing on new shores over there so you might be even relocating buying a new home somewhere else and starting off afresh over there re-establishing your security and letting go of a relationship uh, you know completely severing ties from that relationship as well so it looks like there was a lot of legal issues that are now being dealt with and you are now starting off a brand new phase and you can see uh, a phase where you focus on yourself focus on your own wealth and your own security and, uh, you know, um, focus on your own happiness. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.